three habits that equal consistency. Today, we're going to talk about habits that help build consistency. You've probably heard the tried and true words before. Consistency is key. But what exactly does that mean? The thought of making consistency a habit can feel overwhelming at first. So let's break down some simpler habits that you can form to create more consistency in the grand scheme of your life. 1. Set small goals. Let's say your ultimate goal is to start your own business and grow it to be worth millions of dollars. Regardless of where you are in that process, it doesn't really happen overnight. You can't exactly jump from where you are now to where you want to be in one simple step, but you can set smaller goals for yourself to steadily better your mind. Now, maybe you want to be a multimillionaire, but you're sitting next to a basket of laundry that is long overdue. You've probably also got something that you're interested in but haven't found time to pursue it yet. While you're on the journey to achieve your biggest goals, you can set smaller goals to help get into the mindset that anything you work for is doable. By setting smaller goals, you're also teaching yourself to be more productive. Before you fall asleep or right when you wake up, set a to-do list. Maybe today you're too busy to carve out hours of your time, but that doesn't mean you can't find small things to improve on. Have you been staying hydrated? When's the last time you read a book? What about exercise? Reading or exercising for even 5 to 10 minutes has numerous benefits and either are surely better for you than binge-watching TV. When you set small goals, you are becoming a more productive person and learning to manage your time better. You're also making and keeping promises to yourself, which will help you trust yourself more. As you complete the task and check off items on a simple to-do list, you'll feel good about completing your goals and soon enough, those few minutes you spent on self-improvement will become a vital part of your day. 2. Rule out negative self-talk It's far easier said than done, but shutting down the mean voice in your head will not only help you feel better about yourself, but it will also help you get things done. Often, negative self-talk is not even rational, but it can be so loud that we don't think twice about it. For example, let's say you had a bad day at school or work. Maybe you didn't do as well on a test as you thought you would, or you tried your very best, but you didn't manage to complete everything you were hoping to do. Neither of these things can mean that you're a failure, unintelligent, or any other mean word that your brain can come up with but it's quite easy to fall into the trap of negative self-talk and believe those words. The next time your brain tries to tell you that you're not good enough, talk back to these thoughts. It doesn't have to be out loud, but as you become more aware of negative thoughts, you can realise that they aren't as true as they might seem, and you'll develop a deeper understanding of yourself. By giving yourself grace, things will feel a little lighter and it's much easier to be consistent when the voice in your head is a cheerleader instead of a bully. 3. Think of the journey, not the destination. If you have big dreams and goals for yourself, it's easy to daydream and drift away from where you are right now. But the only way you can get the results you want, big or small, is by being consistent. The massive possibilities of the future seem so dramatic compared to the present moment, but the present moment is all you have right now. So, next time you find yourself drifting off into a daydream or wishing time would just speed up, ask yourself what you can do now to make things a little easier. Maybe you haven't dusted in a while, or maybe you've been trying to cut back on how much takeout food you order. A cleaner home makes for a cleaner mind, and so does a cleaner diet. Let's say today you have some spare time to clean. Set a timer for, say, 10 minutes. Wipe down the counters, start the laundry, or whatever else has been bugging you most lately. You'll feel much better after doing this, and again, you're reprogramming your brain to do something new. Be mindful of the next time you have a chance to do this, and before you know it, it will become a habit to do the best you can with what you have. Conclusion Teaching yourself to be consistent is not as easy as it sounds, especially if your life feels disorganised. 
just the word consistency can feel overwhelming. But while challenging, there are some simple habits you can form to be more consistent in every facet of your life. By setting small goals for yourself, you're learning to keep promises to yourself. This will help you eliminate negative self-talk. And as you become more aware of negative thoughts and combat them, you will be more motivated to try new things or to try to do better at the same things. These tools, combined with staying present in the moment and thinking of consistency as a journey, will get you closer to being consistent with yourself, others and your future. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.